What's up, everybody? Well, I got another Asus Ally gameplay video for you guys today, and today we're going to try out Okami HD. Now, it played very well on the Steam Deck, but I noticed it was only limited to 30 FPS, and then I started thinking, you know what? It did feel a little weird on console, too, like not like super smooth, so it's probably just a 30 FPS game all around, but if it's 30 FPS here, we'll know. But if it's 60 here, then we'll know it's something going on either with the Steam Deck or with Linux or something else in the background. But I'm willing to bet it's just a 30 FPS game. But hey, let's start bla stop blabbing and let's hook it up to the capture computer and let's go find out. All right, guys, here's the settings we're going to start with on the Ally. Now, once I go to camera recorded, we'll be able to go to 1080p. But since I've got it hooked up to the capture computer for whatever reason, even though I have the base canvas as 1080p, it doesn't want to let me use it. So I guess we'll just do 720p but still high settings and all that. So now let's go see if it can maintain that 30. And it should if the Steam Deck can. All right, here we go at the beginning. And yep, it looks like on this guy, we're still stuck at 30 FPS. I wasn't 100% sure, but yeah, yeah. I think that pretty much confirms it. I mean, unless it's just the cutscenes, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. Cause on the Steam Deck, I thought the same thing. And then when I started controlling the wolf guy, it was still, 30. So I think this game is just a 30 FPS game. Nothing wrong with that, I guess, but I'd prefer it if it was 60. It's not like the Steam Deck and this ally couldn't have handled 60, no problem. Huh, you know, now that I think about it, I think there was a guy in One Piece that had this freaking Hydra guy's name. I wonder if that name just literally means something like Hydra in Japanese. I'm terrible with most, like, every other language. Well, literally every other language. Hell, even English gives me some trouble here and there. But yeah, there's quite a bit of talking in the beginning of the S game, but it's still a very fun game. I just don't, I did not remember there being quite as much talking when I uh, played with Danielle way back in the day. But. So most of this, just like the Steam Deck video, this is going to be mostly just, well, this whole screen record portion is just talking. So if you want to actually see running around and whatnot, you can skip ahead and move to the camera recorder portion and then there's at least some running around there but regardless it gets 30 fps no matter what but i still wanted to make the video i figured some people out there would enjoy it but i feel like most people have already played this game a long time ago but if i could show some new people a game that they didn't even know existed it turned out to be cool keep the game alive that's freaking awesome i love doing that And also, we could probably turn the wattage, just like on the Steam Deck, we could probably turn the wattage down. I just left it on 25 turbo just to see what it would do. Most of the time, it'll only use what it needs, but I think this is one of those times where it's using a little more than what's necessary. And of course, the CPU just chilling at 4.6 gigahertz is probably going to kill your battery quite quick. So, again, I don't think that's very necessary for this. I could be wrong, but I think this kind of game will run fine at 15 or even 10 watts. If all you all it is is sit 30 FPS after all, it's not like we're even capable of getting 60. Sometimes those lower wattages will screw you out of being able to get 60, but then you'll at least be able to get more than, or at least an hour or so of battery life versus like 45 minutes to an hour tops at 25 and at 30 I believe you get quite a 
not quite a bit, but I think he like 45 minutes or something like that, since it's a 45 watt hour battery. Something like that, anyway. So that's this thing's Achilles heel. Unless you have it plugged in all the time or have a battery pack, it's pretty short lived in the AAA titles I play with it, so. Wish I had a little bit bigger battery. I know I could open it up and probably put one in if I wanted to, but I don't really want to do that. I'd rather just leave it as it is. And besides, mine fried an SD card, too. That wasn't very cool. I don't know if it fried the whole slot or just the SD card. Or if it's just the SD card. Or both. Who knows? That's why I didn't throw the SD card away. I figured, well, screw it. If it's not actually dead, keep it around. A terabyte SSD was like freaking 120 bucks. I don't really feel like throwing 120 bucks in the trash, you know? And then if it works, and I get another handheld of some kind, I can plop it right in there, and bam, now you got an extra terabyte of storage. And there's still two I'm looking at. I might even get both of them. But at the same time, I might only get one. We'll see. But one of them was more of a small one, and one was a more big tablet. Kind of gaming handheld, so... I'm still doing my research. And heck, I think one of them was even one someone uh, requested. The One X Player Fly. It's like a little seven inch, but it's smaller than even the Ally and lighter. And for like, it's a little more expensive, but it's like $8.99. And you get like 32 gigs of uh, RAM, which helps if you're gonna steal some of that for every game since it's an APU, that's kind of neat. And then you also get a terabyte SSD, so that's also cool, instead of the 512. Mind you, you can easily just get an ally and plop whatever freaking SSD you want in the son of a bitch. So, it's not like I am not capable of doing that. I just would rather just leave it alone. That way it's apples to apples. It's the same as everybody else's ally, you know? And it's not like I can solder some more RAM in there, so... I'm stuck with the 16 gigs they give me. And eventually that will screw that thing out of being useful. Because some games need a lot of RAM, even if they don't need a lot of VRAM. So that's why I figured it'd be nice to have a handheld around that has a little extra, just in case that starts happening. But, as someone else pointed out, the freaking thing could get so weak before that even becomes a problem that it's not even an issue and it's pointless to spend money on it, but still. And then the other one was the Aya Neo Kun. It's like an 8.4 or 8.6 or something inch screen with like all Hall Effect triggers and joysticks and it even has, uh, what do you call it, little track pads like the Steam Deck. Now that one's super expensive though. That one's like $1,100, but it's 32 gigs and one terabyte as well. But apparently that one has some issues here and there, so. I don't know if I really want to spend $1,000 on it, unless those people are blowing them out of proportion. <laughs> anyway, sorry to just blab to you guys during a gameplay video about all that, but a lot of times I just shoot the shit with you guys during these. And like I said, this does have a lot of talking. I could have, like on the Steam Deck video, I could have just paused it like halfway through the talking and just waited until I was rolling around, but I figured, nah, it couldn't possibly last that long. But then it did, and then I wanted it to be a pretty equal amount of gameplay on the Ally and mirror it to the Steam Deck. That way people can just put them up side by side and be like, which one do I like better? Although, for a game like this, it's going to be mostly a, which screen do I like better? Do I want a 1080p screen, or do I want a 720 or 720p screen but have OLED? So, colors look a little more poppy. It's not like the colors look bad on the Ally, but... It's definitely a lot more poppy on the uh, OLED Steam Deck, especially when you've got a game that supports HDR. Because I think it's only, what, 600 nits or something, or 500 nits without HDR? I think it's 600. I could be wrong on that. And I think the Ally is 500. But I mean, hell, my freaking Alienware laptop's 300, and that's more than enough nits, even under my little lights that I use to make my videos brighter. Anyway, though, we're at that part where the dude decides it's a great idea to take this out, so let's move on to camera. Alright, now for some camera reported gameplay. I had to 
restart the whole game since uh, when I unplugged it from the capture computer it decided it was going to go non full screen anymore. So I was like, oh that's cool. And you can't go into the settings screen during a cutscene like these, like the beginning story more like, so. I just had to restart the whole thing, so I think we're somewhere around where I left off. Probably started a little early, but I guess better sooner than later, right? Hmm, you sure about that? This is like, I am out of here. And he is back. Well, it's nice that the game lets you go above 720p as well. I was worried it was just going to be stuck at 720p. That would be terrible for somebody on a 4K monitor. But it doesn't claim to be Okami 4K. It just says it's HD. So for all I know, 1080p is as high as it goes. But I'm going to stop at the easiest ally. This is a... We would have been too easy of a game to waste time on, on the laptops and up, you know? I used to do that, but now that I got all these different systems, if I did that, I'd be wasting time I could be making on, or spending time on, 
you know, other request games or, you know, just anything other than, you know, being like, hey, I want to play this Sonic game from, like, the 1980s on my 4090, you know, and nobody really wants to see that. But I was just having fun with it, but people made good points, and I was like, yeah, I should spend more time on, like, more recent games and games that actually push those types of computers. The computer. It is the bug man. He's definitely better than I can draw, that's for sure. I can barely draw a stick figure. Good boy. Well, I'll try my best, can't make any promises. Alright, we can run, we can jump, alright let's go in here. the save point thingy. Yep, I always do that anyway.
Oh, heck yeah. Oh yeah, everything's like reversed. Really hope I can change that in the settings. But in any case, I think that's plenty of camera recorded gameplay, so let's go wrap this video on up. Well, all right, guys, that's a wrap for Okami HD, and it ran just fine. Now I had to redo this outro. I noticed it didn't have sound, and I only noticed that because I noticed that my dang uh, receiver wasn't turned on. The thing on my neck was turned on, but the other receiver wasn't. So here I am redoing it. That's why it says install instead of play. I'm gonna probably play this game on the Steam Deck just because it's got that OLED screen and it's blocked at 30, so I don't need all the extra power of this guy. And plus this thing gets terrible battery life unless you put it down like 10 watts, which you probably do with this game, but I just figure, screw it. I'll play that one on the Steam Deck. I reserve this one more for what you would call it, more AAA like titles, harder to run titles, CPU bottlenecked titles that just don't run good on the Steam Deck. But in any case, ran just fine. It was locked to 30, unfortunately, and I ran in with a little snag where when I unplugged it from the capture computer, it put it to windowed and I couldn't do anything about it because I was in the middle of cutscenes, so I had to restart the game. But when I did, I at least was able to put it up to 1080p. So that was nice. I don't know if that's the limit or not. It's called HD, so anything more than, well, I think even 1440p is considered a type of HD, so it might be able to go up to 1440p. Hell, it might go up to 4K. I don't know but I'm not gonna bother testing it on the desktops and whatnot. That's just a waste of time, you know? Used to do that, but not anymore. But in any case, that's all I got for you guys for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until the next video, peace out, guys.